I love and adore the best exotic marigold hotel. I realise that it's probably because it was a pleasant surprise. I didn't know what to expect out of it. And with the sequel, it's just as good because this time you know what to expect and it delivers. Now, I was the only one my age watching this film. In fact, I think I was the only one under the age of 50 watching this film. I want to point out that this is a film that can be watched by adults of all ages, not just its demographic for the older generation. I was laughing more than everyone in the screen. I really hope that's not a reflection on the film itself, or maybe it was just afternoon nap time. Oh yay, I'm allowed one joke. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love old people. The nice ones, anyway. And uh, that's probably why I love the Marigold Hotel films. It's full of wisdom and metaphors that you just love to get from older people. <laughs> but it's not the kind where you just want to roll your eyes or it's so cheesy that you need to throw up. The film puts me at ease knowing that even at 80 years old, you still won't know all the answers but you need to make the most of what you've got. You know, it's a film about hope. Don't just give up and wait to die because you're old. Get up and live. The best thing about this film and the first film is the concentration on the relationships. I am so invested in these characters. If it was a soap opera, I'd be hooked with every episode. That's what makes the film so enjoyable. It's the lovable characters and the cast playing them. The beautiful Judy Dench and the eccentric Bill Nye are just delightful as the will they won't they couple. There's Dev Patel who is just all legs. <laughs> He's marvellous. It's wonderful to see a young actor though feels slightly envious towards the fact that he is younger than me who has so much confidence, charisma and punch to a character. His relationship with Maggie Smith is an excellent and emotional one. Maggie has stepped up a game from the first film. The Essex girl has nailed the grumpy character beautifully, delivering all her lines with this fab, dry humour, but inside, given her depth and heart. A new addition to the cast is Richard Gere. It's like he has walked off the set from those rom-coms, those decades ago, because the embarrassed bowing of the head and the I know I'm handsome but humble smile is still there. I felt like Gear could have given more, but the writing didn't give him chance to. He was there as the silver fox eye candy. And let's face it, he completes the job well. I know I would. The second best exotic Marigold Hotel is the film for you if you want a bit of warmth, charm and a chuckle. <laughs> now for the comment question. Who is your favourite senior actor? If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe so you never miss out on a new video. And don't forget to answer the question by leaving a comment in the box you below. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description box. If you enjoy the channel and would like to give something back, you can become a patron. If you are unable to contribute, hitting the share button to Twitter and Facebook can go a long way too. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.